Welcome back. So good to have you here on a Feel Good Friday. Friday. We return to rounding up a series of interviews, some fantastic ones, with mm. J.P. Sebastian. Mm. Yep, he conducted with the multinational vast movie talent that is Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. And he recently sat down with an incredible director, Anthony Fabian, yeah. who, believe it or not, previously worked on two documentaries about South Africa. Oh, wow. and another local story titled Skin that you might have seen. And here's what they had to share about Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. Anthony Fabian, director of Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. Hello, Good JP. Country. Delightful movie, I've got to say. I, I didn't expect, you know, necessarily for it to be my kind of thing, but I, I honestly walled up twice. First time was for that letter a recitation at the start. I'm not going to go into the details. Viewers can see that for themselves. So there must have been times, sir, that you, uh, you must have forgotten to yell cut at Leslie Manville. Because good grief, I have profanity in my notebooks about how good she is as, as an actress. Working with her, can you, can you describe that feeling? Well, Leslie is one of the greatest actresses in the world, no question about it. It was an incredible honor and privilege to work with her. She made our schedule possible because she is so thoroughly well prepared and knows exactly what she wants to do and bring to the character. So there was only the merest fine tuning that was ever needed. Um, at, you know, we, if we'd had the goal of shooting everything in one take, we probably could have done it uh, with her. She's that amazing. Um, <laughs> But um, yes, no, I didn't have any trouble shouting cut, but I certainly was in awe of everything that she did. And I had to keep reminding myself that I still had to say that was amazing because it was always amazing. It was always amazing. Yeah, absolutely knockout. But uh, aside from her, you're telling a very interesting story of say, for example, like a Paris that we've not seen before, I think. Um, we, we used to very much a fairy tale or theme park kind of look of Paris or whatever as a wider audience. Uh, so for, aside from that unseen world, you're also talking about unseen people or underseen, or domestic workers, heavily exploited people. And that's great that I think you want to talk to that. But so what is it that draws you to those worlds? What is it that makes you want to, to, to zone in on those, those subjects? Um, I suppose there is a, a part of me that wants to champion the unseen, uh, those who are not given a voice. I think one of the truly magical things about this film is that she is an underdog and she is so delightful and such an authentic and kind person that you can't help rooting for her. Yes. And that's incredibly appealing as a filmmaker to be able to bring a character like this to an audience and to have them root for her so very much all the way through the film. Uh, I also want to talk for real quick about the fact that you've got another three-time Oscar winner on your crew as well, Jenny Beaven. You're doing a movie about fashion. I'm a guy who knows nothing about fashion. I think Christian Dior, Dior is a denomination. I don't know. I'm a confused guy. The, but you do this amazing intimate scene of the fashion show. Uh, how, how do you guys bring the, the fashion to life? Good grief. Sometimes it looks like a beautiful little jellyfish coming down the stairs. Uh, to talk, talk us through making that centerpiece scene of the fashion show in Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. I had to involve the House of Dior very early on. Obviously, we were using their brand and, and their logos and everything. We needed approval for that. But I wanted their partnership on a bit deeper level because we wanted the, the Dior element to be very authentic. Um, because although it is a fairy tale, it is grounded in reality. And the more we could bring of reality to the story, the more that balance between magic and realism would be found. So mm -hmm. very early on, they opened their archives to us. We were able to look at the output of Dior across that 10-year decade. And we zeroed in on 1957, which is the year the, the film was set. But we were also doing the 10th anniversary collection. So we were able to, to go wider and show the whole output of Dior across that decade. And... With Jenny Bevan, we wanted to create not only what happened in terms of the original shows where it started with day wear, then cocktail dresses, then ball gowns, but a color journey as well through that show. And to find as much variety as we could in representing the brand. She also had the challenge of having to make those dresses, which are extremely complex and normally take many, many more months than we had to actually make. So she chose designs that were on a practical level, makeable, as well as beautiful, as well as contrasted, as well as different. 
And then she created her own, what I call Jenny Bevan Dior, in the three storybook dresses. So Ravissante, the first dress that she sees, Venus, the green dress, and Temptation, the red dress. She had a little bit more creative leeway with those dresses to do something that was inspired by Dior, but really created by her. What a monumental challenge to take on, but for someone as talented as she is, good grief, you guys pulled it off. Like I said, even a boy like me who knows nothing about that, I was entranced, I was on a cloud. I felt exactly like Mrs. Harris, and I think that was the whole point. <laughs> There's definitely a human through line throughout the entirety of Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, and for that reason, it is joyful in itself. I really enjoyed this movie. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, and thank you for your time. Um, I, I hope that all of you watching uh, go to enjoy this movie, too. It's really quite a heartwarming uh, story to it all. Thank you so much. So come through to South Africa again soon. We'll talk more about fashion now that I'm an amateur. We've got more to do in your country, don't you worry. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much for your time. Thank though. you.